There will be a bigger crisis in China in the future. It is a swarm of locusts flying from Africa. So far, 23 countries have suffered a lot from African locust swarms, and the news is about swarm of locusts in Pakistan are soon moving to Winan province, China, and that is causing the Chinese people to fear. Despite the damage caused by an emergency of a locust in the three northeastern provinces and Hunan province, these areas are China's largest granary producing 20% of all grain. And now, many times as many African locusts are flying to China. Let me explain a little to help you understand. The massive locust in China and the African locust which is coming, these locusts are completely different. On June 9, the Bloomberg News Agency reported that the swarm of locusts in Pakistan adjacent to China are causing massive damage. They also analyzed that China would suffer more damage than the economic damage caused by the corona from the swarm of locusts. Pakistan's government is using their budget for corona because the damage from swarm of locusts this year is the worst in last 30 years. Even though other countries have problems from corona budget shortage, Pakistan is using that budget for locusts. So this situation shows that how serious the locust is. So far, the area hit by swarms of locusts in Pakistan is about 57 million hectares, including arable land. A swarm of locusts traveling at 90 miles per hour and eat up 35,000 people's crops a day. And the bigger problem is that they are breeding at a rapid rate. Some analysts say that the crop production will be 40% lower in Pakistan than last year due to swarm of locusts. Next is India. India, a neighboring country of China, is suffering greatly from swarm of locusts along with the heat wave. This summer, Asia is showing a high possibility of becoming the hottest summer in history. Under these circumstances, according to the Indian Meteorological Administration, temperatures in northern India have risen more than usual, with some areas reporting a maximum of 47 degrees Celsius. The problem is that when the temperature rises, locusts breed faster. दिन से ज़्यादा यहाँ रह जाता है तो फिर ये इसमें एक्स बनने लगेंगे और यदि वो एक हो देने लग जाएगा तो ये हमारे लिए बहुत खतरनाक होगा। In the second week of April, swarm of locusts came northwestern India from Pakistan and moved to the east. Regarding the locusts, Indian media were concerned that it would be the largest in 27 years and would grow even bigger in the future. The African locusts are highly prolific and by end of the June, they will able to reproduce up to 200 trillion, 500 times as much as they were in April. If the temperature rises from the average year, the 400 billion locusts that landed in Pakistan and India will increase 500 times and head to China by 200 trillion. Then what will be happening to the swarm of locusts coming into China? Due to the influence of the Indian Ocean, swarms of locusts can travel 150 km a day with strong winds and will arrive in China by the end of the June. Soon, it is almost certain that up to 200 trillion locusts will enter mainland China via China's Winan province. Many parts of China are flooded and cannot even be restored due to the historic flood. Due to this flood damage, some parts of China have a high temperature and humidity, which is the best condition for locusts to breed again. This summer will be the worst summer for China, due to flood and the weather getting hotter little by little. China announced that they have prepared 100,000 ducks to deal with the locusts, but the weather was so hot that they couldn't use their strengths and they almost failed because of a swarm of locusts beyond what ducks could handle. On June 5, the China city of Jinling issued an emergency notice about warning of the spread of locusts, but that emergency was not about the 200 trillion locusts coming from Africa. It's about the current locusts that have been a problem in China.
In fact, China predicted that if all the African locusts arrived in China, they would breed on the largest scale in August. As you know, China is famous for the huge amount of food ingredients, so some say 1.3 billion Chinese people can eat it. However, it has been reported that it is not edible because a huge amount of powerful pesticides were used to fight the locusts. In this global catastrophe, the UN Food and Agriculture Organization warned that grain prices will rise due to the huge swarm of the locusts that have emerged in the last 25 years and even some countries will suffer from food shortage. In fact, on the 10th, the Wall Street Journal reported that rice futures price have jumped to 47% in the last two weeks, the highest price since 2011 and the highest recent rise in the raw material market. And they warned that the price of rice will rise further with the arrival of African locusts in China. Exodus 10 of the Old Testament presents a plague of locusts as the eighth disaster. In a joint statement, Secretary General of the Food and Agriculture Organization, the UN Emergency Relief Coordinator, and World Food Program Executive Director called this situation as a disaster on the biblical scale. Corona, flood, 200 trillion locusts. Currently, various circumstances have been detected that China's national fortunes have run out, and even some Chinese with high self-esteem believe in this grievous situation. Be safe.